our theme and focus for 2013 and 2014 was HR unlocking potential and leveraging talent. And it's fitting that we bring this calendar of events to a finale. And hosting this talk this evening, appreciating the assets of Asperger's and autism in the workplace, is very much fits in with our theme. This is, to me, a huge initiative by C CIPD to actually look and focus at, at areas that have been probably in the shadow up to now. And that's again a role of a, a, a community, an organisation, a group of people that's worldwide and saying, let's make a difference here, let's HR contribute here. Well. Absolutely, absolutely, HR professionals as well. As sponsors of tonight's event, I guess we're, we're delighted that it was such a high profile and it was, we're delighted that it was the end of the, the events for this year. Um, it's a topic that hasn't been discussed before, so to be sponsors of that is even more rewarding, I suppose, for ourselves too. Our speakers here tonight, a specialist turn, I've been um, introducing them to several companies who are clients of ours and I have a personal interest in the subject. I believe that uh, a specialist turn in particular, the one that I've had some dealings with, have great prospects of being taken on by several companies here in Galway. When we were putting together this, uh, these calendar of events last uh, summer, we decided for the first time as CIPD Western Region to put the topic of disability in the workplace on the agenda and on, as one of the events. And we researched and we looked at what is it and what angle can we take on this? Who could we bring as the keynote speaker or speakers in, as it turned out to be? Well, I mean, I'm really impressed uh, tonight by what's happened in Galway. You know, it's, uh, I counted maybe 170 people plus in the audience, and it, it really is good. And really, uh, as uh, the manager for Specialist Turn in Ireland, really we want to get our message out there. And to be quite honest, uh, if we're talking about changing mindsets, really we have to work with HR uh, fundamentally, because they're influencing their own. Uh, people obviously both up and down in the system because they have the, the ear of the top manager but also key of course is that they also understand themselves what process we're doing and in the workshop uh, what we do is really we assess to a task their um, behavioural skills as one says to how they work and the other thing is uh, technical skills again how do they think technically because they may not have quite the right qualifications or whatever but they might have the right way of thinking the right way of being flexible, of, of learning indeed. You know. We kicked off a programme globally within SAP to, um, with the aspirations of hiring a number of people on the autistic spectrum. Currently we have hired um, three people and we've extended an offer to a fourth. And this programme was driven not from a um, corporate social responsibility perspective but from a pure business perspective in that we have a commitment to diversity within SAP and that is driven from the perspective that we do feel that um, through hiring people who bring a diverse background, diverse thought processes to the organization, it increases our ability to be innovative and through that we maintain our competitive advantage. The issue of diversity in the workplace um, is something that's been around for quite a long time but for, for, for quite a while it was seen as something that was peripheral to the core of an organization. But what we now have is uh, the movement towards a knowledge-based economy where we, we have set ourselves that challenge in Ireland uh, and that requires a whole range of diverse skills that we didn't really need in the past. It was mentioned that you know candidates with Asperger's uh, may have certain characteristics such as problem solving and attention to detail. Uh, so I think that that's a, they're very important competencies uh, in order to drive innovation in a company like Medtronic. In the rules that we had, the people involved in, they were the rules would have been very repetitive, and people we had in the rules previously uh, would have just made natural mistakes. The people that we actually had employed with disabilities, we find to perform better than the people that uh, we had previously and so from a business point of view we had more satisfied customers because there were fewer, uh, there were actually no uh, products going out to customers with any defects in them whatsoever. 
in Nestor Super Valley we've always had a very strong um, commitment to inclusive work practices. Um, we employ nine individuals with disabilities in our four stores. We had never employed an individual with Asperger's previously. So ultimately the support and commitment from Employability Galway made the transition for this gentleman a lot easier and I think at this stage this gentleman now forms an integral part of the Super Value for the Griffin Road team. This individual definitely has, an, has a talent and has an exceptional eye for detail which is extremely important in a retail environment. Um, what we're finding more and more is that inbuilt solutions in technology itself can often accommodate a lot of people's disabilities. Uh, for example, within Microsoft's um, operating system Windows um, 8 at the moment, there's lots of little features in there under the ease of access centre that people just don't realise are there. These are free, they're inbuilt and often can accommodate a lot of people's issues around accessing technology at work, such as using narrator to read back documents if they have dyslexia or reading difficulty, um, using things like filter keys if they have difficulties with hand movements and lots of other little features like that in built-in technologies. Um, we often find again that mainstream products actually can benefit a lot such as uh, voice recognition software. Uh, for example Dragon Naturally Speaking is a great piece of software that costs just over 100 euros but allows people who are unable to use a keyboard for whatever reason access and write documents and emails um, along with their colleagues and work. I think the Job Shadow initiative could uh, fit nicely uh, with the, the SAP initiative because um, it would allow candidates to um, sample a selection or a number of, of different career types or job types that they may be interested in and it gives them more of an opportunity to get an insight into uh, the various aspects of the, the different jobs that they may have an interest in. We have a room full of HR professionals uh, speaking to other HR professionals and employers um, about the benefits of employing somebody with disability. Even the title uh, of today's event, you know, it's, it's, it's all positive language uh, as opposed to the negative or charitable type um, language that's normally used. So it's, it's hugely beneficial for us as an association to be uh, partnering up with CIPD, you know, it's it's taken us into into the realm that we need to be in. So we're delighted to be associated. You had information from specialist Earn who support the employment of people with Asperger's and autism into the IT and high tech sectors, but you also had people there with information on grants that are available to employers that wish to employ people through the specialist Earn model. People in organisations need to be convinced that this makes real business sense. It's not another corporate social responsibility, you know, gimmick or something like that. This is a real business case that can be made here.